All right, and you can define breakthroughs a lot of different ways because you can say, hey, this person wasn't even on our radar and then they made a team or this person wasn't even a favorite for a medal and then they got bronze. But the way I chose to define it was just somebody who just made a leap up in tiers. And if you go back to the last time we had global championships before 2021, go back to 2019, this person made the U.S. final but didn't make the team and had a very promising future. And then they went from that to completely dominating the Olympic final. And I know there was that 2020 year in between, which we didn't see, but I'm talking about a thing, Mo. I think a thing, Mo, biggest breakthrough, because now, as I mentioned, it's not, hey, can anybody beat her? It's how fast can she run? Will she break the world record? Can she do the 4-8 double? She skipped over that whole step of struggling to get a medal and went to, okay, what can I do to challenge myself beyond getting a gold medal? So just the distance she traveled between those two years, if you think about it, is amazing and sort of baffling to think about. So I went with Mo. This should be a stat to look up. I'm not sure what if the stat exists anywhere, but how many people have won a global gold medal in their first senior global outdoor championship? Like, Typically, when you go to your first yeah. Worlds or your first Olympics, it's like a learning experience, right? And then you come back stronger than the next one or for the Olympics. And then that's when you actually compete, like, at the higher level. But for her to do it, like, as a rookie, it's just, like, incredible. I mean, mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I'm, I don't know my history that well. But I feel like it doesn't happen that often where first time at the World Championship stage, they win gold. That doesn't happen that often, right? Can you think of anyone off the top of your head who I won can't. gold their first their first global championship? I'm sure there's. So, are you counting indoors and outdoors? No, just outdoor championship. So, world championships or Olympics? I don't know, man. Yeah. Statman John Ken Nakamura, if you're listening, that's a good stat to look up. And maybe someone but, said it at the time, but that's yeah, you're right. Yeah. That's pretty. That's pretty preposterous. Because you think about the people who were really good when they were young, like Felix, but she wasn't stepping in and getting gold. Yeah. And for Thing Mo, it's not just, it's not just, or even Sydney McLaughlin. It's, it's not just the gold. It's yeah. just the complete and utter dominance of everybody else. And the fact that, hey, she's also good in the 400 too. So we could be looking at something we've only seen, you know, twice achieved in history by one man and one woman ever with a 400 and 800 double later on. It's crazy. So my breakthrough athlete is Christine Mboma. I remember watching her run the 400, and everyone was like, holy shit, she's ran 48 seconds. Watch out, Shawnee miller Weibo. You may want to run the 200 because she's going to dominate the 400. Then World Athletics is like, not so fast. We don't want you in sport. You got to do something different. And she's like, all right, I will. I'll run the 200, and I'll run incredible, and I will challenge – one of the greatest that's ever done it in Elaine Thompson, hurrah. And uh, probably the best second place finish you can have in any of the championships, I would argue, especially for what she had to do at the last minute change events. I mean, I, you think about like when we're in high school and you're preparing to run the, the two mile and then coach says you have to run the four by four. You're like, what, Oh, what's going on? And you can't handle that big change. She did this at the global level. It's like, you're preparing your body quarter mile and then all of a sudden he's like no you got to learn how to get a start down and she has a horrible start because she never practiced it right and so i think the biggest breakthrough for me was christina boma's onto the stage in the 400 and ultimately you know adjusting and running well in the 200 and uh kind of taking the world taking the, the sport what's the world by storm is that the phrase mm -hmm. taking the world by storm she took the world by storm and I'm a big fan. I'm also a big fan of uh, people in her situation who find ways to say, screw you, to, to uh, world. you can't stop me from competing um, in these events. Yeah, you think I'm going to suck at the 200? Not so fast. I'm going to run the fast 200. So, If you look at the uh, – I don't want to get too far into, like, previewing 2022 because this is a 2021 recap, but – there's just some big stories in all of these women's sprint events next year. 